Hey there everybody, Beatlever911 here once again for RPG Maker XP Tutorials. So, now I'm going to finish up the first page of my event commands. First page, I'll do this last little section here. First thing on here is change window skin. So by default, it's 001-blue01. I'll show you what that looks like. that and this this is blue a one boring nobody even likes it don't even know why they put it on there so they've given you the option to change the window skin you can upload others I have two on here I have a lot more where these came from but I haven't uploaded them yet so here's my favorite one flame put it on parallel process so it automatically changes to flame now, since it's an event on this map, it will only start when this map comes up. So, right here it's still blue. If you go to New Game, it automatically changes to Flame. So, here's Flame. You can also change it by going to Database, Systems, Window Skin Graphics, and by default it's still on blue so you can change it to flame and that will start off as flame so there's flame and there's flame there too okay so the next thing on here I'll show you battle background music when you enter a battle this is your default music but you can have it changed when you enter a battle. So the next thing I'll show you is your battle end ME. I don't really know what ME stands for, so if anyone knows, please comment me. Um, this is the sound at the end of your battle. I won't show this to you because I'm not going to battle all the way through because it bores me to tears. So the next thing I'll show you is changing your save access. You can disable it or re-enable it after disabling it. So if you disable it, I'll have to make this a parallel process as well as this. show you. Save is in gray and can't be selected, so I can't save my game right now. The next thing is menu access. You can disable your menu access so that when you go into your game, I'm pressing escape right now and nothing's happening because I've taken away my menu access. I can't open my menu anymore. So, the last thing on here is changing your encounter. The encounter is your uh, random battles. If you go to map, go to map properties, you go to troops and double click, you can change what kind of enemies will appear. If there's nothing there, you won't have any encounters. And change your step average, that'll be how often you get one of these random encounters. So, I'll show you what that's like, in case you don't know already. Walk around, 10 steps later, you start a fight. And there's our custom soundtrack, our background music. So, I won't need that anymore. So, change encounter, you can disable it. Put this on parallel process, start a game. And now, no matter how much I walk around, I will never get one of those random encounters. So, here's Bob and I signing out. This is the end of my tutorial for event commands on page one. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you on page two.